a couple of comments that I would like to address to our audience online while we await uh, our audience in person who are currently seating themselves, preparing themselves to read, taking pictures of me and making my face turn red. Um, Angela Rawlings very kindly directed me to a very long series of Facebook posts, some of which had 33 comments written by their very own author, um, responding to and interacting with the proceedings that we've had here um, over the past two days. So she and I both thought how wonderful it would be to speak back to Margaret Christakos and to acknowledge her thinking with us from Toronto. And in particular, we wanted to react to um, her proposal for writers at the mic, uh, which she described or asked or prompted us, could there be a real-time serial mashup, seriously, while you are present in that room where Rawlings, Robertson, Philip, Brassard, Waugh, Bach, Dirksen, all right, all the readers, use an indigenous circle model to stand and deliver brief pieces of utterance as within a round with intervocal, non-ironic silence and over layerings which also maintain listening modalities as a site-specific performance <laughs> of your polyphonic <laughs> productive frictions. Margaret goes on, I think this could <laughs> I think this could be suddenly transversal and contiguously theoretically interesting. She further comments, change the form of presentation, change the solo. The lyric tries to make present the absent other, try to make present the present other, which is a great suggestion and one that I find enormously provocative and one that unfortunately I will have to defer to future events, <laughs> but one that I take very seriously and welcome very sincerely and therefore wanted to take Angela up on her suggestion that it be shared within this room as a model of community that we can all explore in the future as a performance model, as a performance opportunity that I hope we can all um, experiment with in our future endeavors separately and together. However, unfortunately tonight, due to time constraints, we'll have to stick with the solo, as Margaret called it. But thank you, Margaret. This is enormously suggestive. Um, so... Thank you, Margaret! <laughs> thank Hi, you, Margaret. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, can you just So to move on from that suggestion with um, the events that we have planned for tonight, uh, we'll have three readers and then two readers. I'll introduce the first three and then Charles the second two. The first of our group of three is Jordan Scott, uh, from whom we heard an absolutely phenomenal presentation today. Jordan Scott is the author of Silt, which was nominated for the Dorothy Livesey Poetry Pl Prize, and Blurt, which explores the poetics of stuttering, and was adapted into a short film for the Bravo Network, and was the subject of an online interactive documentary con commissioned by the National Film Board, Board of Canada. Jordan acted as a writer-in-residence at the International Writers and Translators Centre in Rhodes, Greece, and has lectured and performed at festivals in Norway and Slovenia. His areas of poetic inquiry are speech disfluencies, interrogation, found archives, and decompositions. Jordan is a member of the Kootenai School of Writing and lives in Mount Pleasant, Vancouver, BC. Please join me in welcoming Jordan Scott. <laughs>
preface on avoidance. It is part of my existence to be the parasite of mm, metaphors. So easily am I carried away by the first simile that comes along, having been carried away. I have to find my difficult way back and slowly return to the fact of my mouth. Their thick tongues blort, eyes squeeze grief. A crowd of huge, unheard answers jam and rejoice. What's wrong? Blort, jam, rejoice. Valsalvas. Some will not when by themselves. Some will not when speaking to children or animals. Some will not when they sing. What is the utterance? F phonemes flounder, briquette warmth, tethered to seven mollusks, an osteoblast chomps into the burger of kelp's wreck, an osteoclast nibbles a Puffin scapula in mid-afternoon wait. Each webbed foot tussles the soft hum of slipper on hardwood floors. What is the utterance? Dewlap syllables Mesozoic, the billabong passes as gung ho through scaffolded throats, blotches lobular curves until Mesozoic ricochets cochlea at a slow freight, the palate thermoregulates, camouflages the antelope roll. What is the utterance? My mouth drew the swallow's panic. Chew terala, the spaces between them. Chomp apterium, gizzard beat. Broca, broca, chirped electrode. Sing fuming, sing furious. Now open your mouth and speak. Incisive fossa in labial turbulence. Sing fuming, sing furious in neuroimaging phyloplumes blitz. Now open your mouth and speak. Sing fermious. What is the utterance? What a poor crawling thing you are. Stress. Spelunk. Yeah. Buchel slinks into hoodoo. The dawn clots urt, bruise syllabic upon upturned halibut welded to sky curve. We watch in a book toss the yap blip and in careful clasp to each blurt glug glug the angles of vowels echolalia trash lip lisp smudge. July, mucus, raspberry, inside a toothful jujube, pearls, comma, will all meet on the tongue, will all meet in the tongue, pickaxe, plosive bloat, and say, b is for by the mouth's slight erosions. If you must repeat, Blowgun bleat, tip phylobates 
masticate equation. Word order equals world ardor. Gobbledygook. In frame, then frame, we rumba smooth across laminate as lamprey weave Gregorian pores. Above us, tunnels splatter night muggy. We repel frantic drips to Hasburgites, spelunk carpal, a soda straw to outwash. We excess wine must have gestured influx bent knee hamates wicked belay rusa light plunder esophagus we blitz horizon the petzel ekrin shed its carbon each trona pinnacle dust to tonsil our phlegm spicules boil saline paces until strata suffocate and the release from tile until coragub Gyres, the burst of hippus, a corneal richter, box jellyfish, fleck, a rhythmic bambuka. In chassis, then exoskeleton, we zongo smooth across marble as eel weave coral hole. Above us, pearl splatter night, humid, we parry. Berserk trickles to Hasburgites, spelunk digit, a soda straw to brackish. We, excess wine would have signaled influx, warped patella, hamate's wicked crampon, rusa light ransacks esophagus. We assault horizon, the eldred ekrin shed its monoxide, each Tufa, spire, soot to lymphoid, our m- m- mucus, spicules, bubble, saline tempo until strata suffocate from thermoplastic, until v- vulture pirouettes, the shiver of hippus, an epithelium richter, punch, cryonex, dapple, a rhythmic m- merengue. At some point, you mention circumlocution, but my mouth just isn't working today. (laughs) You 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 say, looks like a pinnacle karst, ulithic karst, a boulder choke of spitzkaren ahead, and I, trek textured in chomp, repel lingual, and hiss a plankton paprika into the pitch of long words. Valsalvas. Consider efficiency, the second by cuspid in manic syllabic husk. Consider the esophagus, the gather, bushels stock esophagus, burn cane in avioli. Consider the combine, lip toss, molar churn, given the harvest, worth the ricocheting, worth the Glitch. What is the rhythm? Tendon, slurp, caretta, caretta, the sheet like respiratory muscles. What is the rhythm? Bramble harmonizes with Glottal percussion, drenched plastron in tadpole gelatin, each 
alien orb jengas, a honeycomb grill for the syllable, a scent, mouth frond, spore, stut stuts, in each tongue slumber, each swollen tango's tease, stomp broca until black Berry mush, the larynx drools redness as spawn, a boy jabs his molars, thinks a dewworm folds onto the barb, thinks its curl strings cello against his own enunciation. What is the r- r- rhythm? Turtle scaffolds larynx, globs flipper to palate fluttered jugular with serum jabber. On each cuspid, the want of sound tumble muscle as gymnasts. The low whine of their stressed abdominals dreads the sloth toward the lips. What is the rhythm? All the interim is. If therapy is a must, wad cake hole blister rust, Laminate brank in gurgitate gospel. Word languor equals world rancor. Marble bu- bu- bubble bobble. <laughs> M- mouth implies room. Room. Um, Mimics mouth. In jugular, then jujitsu, we ta ta bazooka woven nouns. Our femur arrhythmia slinkies hubba bubba onto forcep grip. Blast off, osh gosh bagosh, and a choir of bing bang bong utensils on linoleum floors. In the room, stucco gills staccato. In the room, Typo baboons on jowl, our chin fest lusters muscovite, clangs jaundice tint to voice, sing oos oos, sing to hut to hut, to hut to hut, each troglobite grovels lung, each trilobite whispers fossil, we up chuck gush gooey duck until the want of teeth in Bezels, barbell, oreo, and gingivade bake until twixt fricative snicker clicks, until Heimlich word or shucks each muscle kerfuffle in dactyl hubble bubble as cactus pricks against quiet parts. It's what wills and will not. Tongue, uppercut, palate, pop rocks are mime. Siphons out the gas. In aorta, then aikido, we tisk tisk missile molted clitics. Our hip arrhythmia slinkies ooh la la onto tweezer cinch. Kablooey lulu lemon in a belt out perumpa pum pum of forks and spoons on cobblestone floors. In the Crash pad, stucco lung staccato in the crib, mistake numb nuts on muzzle, our clam pig glitters igneous, roars tangerine hue to voice, sing nit nit, sing kong tack lack lack, each Ozark crawfish apple polishes bronchial, each anthropod insinuates eel lip. We erp paua until the want of Denton embezzles dumbbell oreo and gum barbecue until t- 
carob milk sibilant snicker eject until Heimlich word or shucks each tissue ballyhoo and spondy hubbly bubbly as purr low blows your mute meat. It's that and that's that. Radix lucky punch his whiz are ventriloquy trawls out the crude. Kate and glottal mount palate. Drool the mollusk husk haptic globs clavicles chiffon. Its bruised mantle clatters the scarab musk. Welts writh rills with echoic aortas shunt long cyan divots diaphragms. The pavilion is in the coquitlam. The grass paces the wet of each day. The photographs of the pavilion mouth aperture. One boy in the room. His Gutturals click warm. The larynx is roomy. The flashcards mega mouth. Marbles, mandible, slow tonic phlegm. Pango, pango, greens, apples, tumble. Sea mulch, bumble, marble, chunks. Enamel smacks, tongue babble. Xerox bruise, onyx hues of my mouth in me, of other people's fluent mouths in me, of fluency in me, of me and my mouth, of me and other people's fluent mouths, of me and fluency, my mouth in me, fluent words in me, other people's fluent mouths in me, me and my mouth, me and fluent, me and other people's fluent mouths. Okay, I'm gonna try out some new stuff. I'm gonna go um, uh, a few um, minutes over, so I apologize for that, Christian. Okay. <laughs> Um, so this this poem is about only fourteen minutes, and it's it's based off um, the talk that I gave today. It's new, so please have patience. It's um, basically responding to the last part of my talk about um, uh, uh, desire, um, therapy, and interrogation. Sleep considers fluorescent. Jumpsuits parasail among the clouds, roar of toneless constant. In each centigrade prism, the seductive option of answering no belly crawls across grammar for are spooning together, or what shall I liken you to but urt cloud convection, the prattles of light rain atop iguanas, or the what is most important to you, that ornaments in heat as swollen and ample papayas. It is the morning. Sleep as thing less than place, pronounced as s equals lull, greater than the w question of what is going on here. Each breath swig osmosis, each glottophony a hunted deer across a shallow gosh. Oh my gosh, flex cuffs a torso doing the wet look, rouge and in heat or what can I liken you to but a yes, please, that sunk my battleship. 
This is the morning and the time to hide as one d damaged roadside fridge full of what I like and what I do not like, of what is good and what is bad. Tendons grip the lower crisper drawer behind the lower kick plate. A pallet kicks around in this sentence, hung like drool in the grammar of this won't go down. Mourning the missing heat between two forms, this grammar of mourning cools our relation to the carnage of a slow built heat. A heat unlisted in meteorology twists beneath the sheets, a leaf-like swim in glaciate lakes with one body splitting melons on the shore. The body is the temperature of the fingered Crenshaw. Corpuscular heaves a knock your socks off echo, calm or clammed up in the missive pits of remains found without clothing. This is the morning and the time to wake part of the subject or part of the predicate where w is the trace of tense greater than the ache of person X pronounced as w w where are you taking me in morning? It's not even noon yet and this is the morning. Floodgate is said. A floodgate of the verb and of the voice. Boom th threatens to give way two parted megawatt lips. You are in the midst of a touching experience and begin to taste swimming as a child. The tr trust that begins as water, gush, or famine, lakes pronounced as lakla, a lick tin of too many gags, the peat cool of a tattered chin and lazy Ponds, or the tender rank of a body, squid-like and solitary in the tide. The tide pronounced when person X thing pronounces t as oceanic puts tie to idiom as place or each w expression or what words are you putting in my mouth as if which w the decisions of which put the thing y of my own voice person x as if it were not mine the thing greater than if these words did not come out of my mouth pronounced as m mm, as if they do not come from my mouth given that place t title of w expressions pronounced as waves or wait a minute i didn't say that but i fear i say too much I fear myself, I say too much. I fear myself too much be said by me as one body enters a roadway. Isthmus parted fruit, shucked oysters slip out of concave forms, enter the perishable for a sense of perishing, are spooning as flock twists glottophony flex cuffed in fingered lakes as if we are what coils up ill lit lipped ice this is the morning and the time to wake it's not even noon yet when one large shipping container is filled with men a morning's language the four of waiting for hum elapse hush money one's jaw drops raw clams slush lacquered lullaby pronounced as <laughs> pause for lull then listen it's a likely story Tender in rigor mortis forget-me-nots, the body is the temperature of the refrigeration unit. It's not even noon yet when the task of naming these things which live by perishing become a matter of vessels, ochre than blue, tactical by midday, but floating ducks in morning. 
emanation nearness, a lapped wing. Everything awaits evacuation. The mind boggles, doesn't it? <laughs> a speech now in a situation of fact that requires selves and shadows of myself and yourself, wounds as pronouns and more facts that cannot speak to what this morning has forgotten as matter outside the lips, as scalp covered with medium length brown hair and normal distribution or facial hair consisting of a beard and a mustache of how I am sorry, but this is all I can say, and at the same time are obliged to speak, shall never be silent, but have, yes, we are as teeth or hands, our opera gloss foolscap, tongue spread egoism, or isosceles spooning flock twists, flex cuffed and yet fingering lakes as if we are what is coiled up, ill-lit lipped ice, our glottics rendered in fishnets. And it's not even noon yet and Bodies with pupils round and equal in diameter all wake up ochre head urchins. Body is fluid in the nares. Walls plume geometric. The sides of skull geodesic. The sides of skull gyp rock. Plastic is fragrance pronounced as cosmonaut percuss in the breath of the blower, a pose is working it. Lava rills and a diving curl, a body, a book, a curl bullwhip floated into place, gums up in a respiratory way, all tongues a tactic, all glottal phonics hiccup on menagerie of brisk clicks from agile animals exiting a basilica. Small words for the small of the back, and it's not even noon yet, but morning when oceans for lagoons nest all of the vicious in the dugout crust, sun in the mouth, hypopigmentation on the lower trunk, pores subdural under the lamp. Weather plumes geodesic, the synapse geometric, the corners of mouth gyp rock, fresh cut grass is fragrance pronounced as whammo or the w expression of where is everybody but okay in the same phonotactics of ul equal to well did you give him the works? The body is the same temperature of the lawn. A study of legs is turf for the ulcer. The body is opened by the usual Y shaped in Decision. Thus, woo, as in, well, we've got a live one here, wind farmed by the blower, mucus carousels, music box, the morning. This is the morning. A brightness begins obedience, a quick nudity, the gentle movements of gardening. Things are beginning to heat up. The body is the same temperature as the um, method, yawning through and th through. The hole is black, but still a mouth and now a trove. After I ate, I felt better and will not talk. I will not eat anymore. I will not drink anymore, and I'm not going to talk anymore. I will talk and eat when I get some water. Here, the absence of w splitting or what did what to whom sucked in oom of night calls, of meat upon a savanna, the ch of marsupial chatter, less than the ch of the chase across the field is over in instinct like the swallow did daydreaming of security, lips envelope our spooning, cuffed to ill-lit fingers coiled in glutonic lakes as if we are flexed ice, quiet g g g g g 
gates opening to surf light. This is the morning and not even noon. Language is exceeded and retreats from its own cacophony. Soft core collisions do a floating body turquoise and exquisite are licorice mortis pigs out a catacoustic come on come on then came 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 a word love for the narrative of uncovered animals thank you